I'm riding the highest altitude train in America, 14,000 feet above sea level with extreme winds. But will I make it to the top? All right. I'm Plant Daddy, and this is my friend Mike Downey, also called Downey Live. Together, Mike and I have taken the California Zephyr, America's most scenic route, and the improv builder across America. And today, we're on the Cog Railway. Welcome to Train Bros. Landed in Denver, hopped on a train. I got somebody I gotta meet up with. Oh, that's my brother, Mikey. What's up, Mike? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mike had a surprise for me. This wasn't one trip, but three bucket list train trips. We're riding a steam train. Whoa, I love that sound. Whoa, that view. <laughs> and also, I'm crossing off a huge bucket list item, a visit to the Grand Canyon. By train. You're in a treat for these next videos, but it's getting late. Time to get to the hotel. We are at the Broadmoor. The Broadmoor. It's the longest running consecutive winner of the Triple Five Diamond, and they had this rating consecutively for 40 years. This hotel is the best of the best. I mean, classy. I feel like whenever you walk down these hallways, you take a step back in time. See, we're staying here because of Broadmoor and the Cog Railway. It's owned by the same family. This hotel began as a dream, like most great things do. And that dream was from a man by the name of Spencer Penrose. Spencer and his wife, Julia, wanted a grand hotel and resort, and nothing was going to stop them from getting it. A hotel like any in the world, it would be a special place for some of the richest people in the world, serving the best food, cocktails, and having the best amenities. It was the best hotel in the United States. There's a Broadmoor bag here on the table. It's you. That's me. <laughs> How do they know who I am? Welcome to the Broadmoor. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to make you stay more comfortable. Very nice. <laughs> The next morning I woke up and I looked to the mountains and the views were stunning. It's early 6.30 a.m. Saturday morning. Mountain air is so crisp. We're heading to the top to get on the Cog Railway in Manitou Springs. Actually a beautiful city. But before we get on the Cog, we decided to give you a behind the scene tour of the old Cog trains and the new state of the art trains used here at Pikes Peak. This here is one of our refurbished 48 units. So on a standard railway, you just have these two outside rails, running rails or T-rails. So down here underneath the train, we're looking at the bottom here of uh, one of the uh, gearboxes. You can see the cog gear over here. This is how the train propels itself up and down the hill. Wow. Wow. Oh, now that's a motor right there. Yep. Yeah. So this is the... Uh, that's a motor. 19 liter Cummins QSK. My dad would get a kick out of this motor. He, he just loved motors, powered. How does it operate? So you have all the basics. You have like your on-off switch, your key essentially. Okay. Locks it out. Forward and reverse. Uh, your joystick here. Push it away from you off center. It's uh, motoring, so you're actually providing power. Right. Pull it back towards you from center, and that's dynamic braking. Okay. So it's using the electric motors um, as a generator at that point, or an alternator. Resistance. Is resistance, yep. And there's grids up on the roof to dissipate the heat from that. Ah. Three Each train set yeah, is nine and a half million dollars. Wow. The technician showed us how each row of the seats on a cog are built on an incline and this prevents people from falling out of their chair on a journey up to Pikes Peak. So this is the old, this is the new depot. So what we did was we kept the same uh, footprint of the depot and then just enhanced it. We re reinforced, um, well, just everything. The rebuild yeah. was great. We added more restrooms at the end, uh, added the bridge, the observation bridge, which is great, uh, expanded the gift shop. So we have plenty of merchandise when you're here to buy. Uh, and it's it, just the ticketing office is still here, but we really encourage you to buy tickets online. It's just much easier, much smoother, and then you know exactly what times the, train, the trains leave, and you know you have a spot before you get here. What is your favorite thing about working out here? Oh my goodness, I'm just being outside, it's beautiful. I, know. I, I mean, my goodness, you go up the tracks nine miles to the top of Pikes Peak, America's Mountain every day, what, what could be what can, better? Yeah, this view is just breathtaking, y'all. You really have to come and see this for yourself. Oh. Oh. Awesome, thank you. Why are you excited to ride this train? 
I think it's so unique. It's picturesque, red. Trains trains don't go uphill, so the, that fact alone. Yeah. And then it's the highest altitude train in America. Just it's different. It's I've cool. been waiting to do this train ride for four and a half years. Yeah. We are. Oh. I'm so excited about yeah. this trip. Right here. Help me get up and down the train safely and safely. Well, I, I think this looks like America. <laughs> uh huh. This is like a Disneyland ride. This looks like yeah. Adventureland. Yeah. Like Mike, what you repping, man? Got me out here repping the con. This is the Broadmoor Manitou Pikes Peak Railway. It's soft. It's so soft. Woo! The breeze is like breezy. The breeze is breezy. This area is called Windy, and yes, it was. The train attendant opened the window so we can get a feel of how cold and windy it really was. You see, the, the wind is blowing. Yeah. The wind gets up to 100 miles per hour. So we didn't make it to the top, but now we're going back down. We've got a surprise. Mike and I, we're going to the top. But how are we going to get there? As you come down, the views are just as spectacular. They're better. They're better, yes. We can see more like this. Look at that. One train arrives and another train is about to take off. Do you think we have time to get off, get up and around, get back on that one? I think so. Or <laughs> should we drive up? Back in the car to the top of Pikes Peak. Nothing was stopping us. $10 each, you 20 for two. Uh, to take card? What woman doesn't? <laughs> I like you. Now you have an L or a plus minus for your lowest gear? Uh, we have an L. So coming downhill, don't use drive, stay in L, but step on the brake harder rather than softer, then you don't ride your brakes. Oh, okay, yep. Don't forget to breathe. You guys have a great day up there. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's the first time I've ever started driving a highway with a strong warning and instructions about how to drive it without <laughs> overheating and burning your brakes on the highway. It tells you a little something about it. Starting at 8,000 feet, let's see how high we end up. And it's getting colder. What's the temperature now? Temperature has dropped to 37. We started out at 45. Don't know what height we're at, but this is this is a lifelong dream to drive Pikes Peak. This is wild. It's when there's no railing, it's right. Especially yeah. on a windy day. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get out. Oh, whoa! Oh. <sighs> that wind is so cold. I almost froze to death that fast. <sighs> Bro, <laughs> it hurts so bad. The wind is so strong. <sighs> oh man, my skin was hurting. I know why they canceled the train. Smart move. <laughs> now imagine racing on this. Looking at this horizon, I can't see what's over. I can't see which way it turns. And there are no railings. And it's a, sh a, a sheer cliff. Look at this. You're going full speed. If you're racing, it's uh, this is why it's so dangerous. You know, it'd be really nice. It would be nice, man. It'd be really nice. What? If we didn't have to worry about driving up here. We just took the Things train. Like that. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, there's the train track. There's the train tracks right there. What is it? What's the temperature right now? We're down to 25. Oh man, so it's dropped about 20 degrees. A few minutes later, we made it to the top, and I immediately went to the gift shop to warm up. Ugh, I was cold. The gift shop and the train loading area had been remodeled since the last time I was here four years ago. Can I take you back for a second? Out here, and the people just got off the train, so I'm gonna show you the train. So if you don't want to drive up here, you can always catch the trolley here. It's much easier to catch the trolley instead of driving like we did. The drive up here was pretty intense. So here goes the trolley, they just dropped off some people. And it's absolutely cold out here. God, so it is snowing in the middle of July. We couldn't make it all the way on the train, but we did get in the car and show you those epic views. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed 
seeing Mike on this trip with me. And make sure you go and check out his channel. He has a lot of amazing train videos. In my next video of Train Bros, we're taking a historic steam train through the mountains of Colorado, and we're heading to the Grand Canyon by train. So come along, join the adventure, and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, y'all. Peace.